Hi, it's time for Street Talk, your voice and your views on the issues in the news. Good news is rare in our business, so the release of BBC journalist Alan Johnston generated a lot of interest. Early on Wednesday morning, the correspondent was set free after nearly four months of captivity in Gaza, held by the powerful Dugmush clan. Johnston was transported quickly to the home of the deposed Prime Minister Ismail Haniya, who had worked with his Hamas colleagues to push for the release. Speaking about his 16 weeks of solitary confinement in a dark room, Johnston compared it to being buried alive. Carl in Oregon in the U.S. believes groups such as those who abducted the journalist destroy any sympathy for the plight of Palestinians. Mr. Johnson was in Gaza to report on the conditions on the ground. Taking him or any other reporter hostage is totally counterproductive to any organization's cause. Bule de Gaulle in Indonesia was thrilled to hear about the release and sent us this message. Oh joy, I will be fasting tomorrow to thank Allah for listening to me and others for the well-being of Alan Johnston. Amin in the Palestinian territories believes the Johnston episode was a disaster for his own people. As Palestinians, we are all happy that the Johnston nightmare is over. But we are also sad because this ordeal has tarnished our image as a people struggling for basic freedom and dignity. There are different ways to deal with stress. Music, yoga, or smashing up hotel rooms. What, you mean you've never gone crazy and wrecked one? We need to take a trip to Spain. The hotel in Madrid gave 30 highly stressed out people the chance to go on the rampage through its rooms with sledgehammers. The Spanish NH Alcala hotel chain is planning renovations at that location and asked a team of psychologists to identify the amateur demolition crew. The stressed out winners destroyed television sets and bedroom walls and tossed beds and desks like rock stars. They were selected from around a thousand people from all over Spain who tried to get on the wrecking team by writing to NH and describing their stressful lives. When asking how some of you might handle stress without the aid of a sledgehammer, we got some interesting responses. Hanan in the US has a very unusual way of dealing with her frustrations. Whenever I get a new mobile phone, I make sure to keep the old one for one simple reason. When I get extremely annoyed or upset about something, I go out and smash the phone against a concrete wall. It feels absolutely liberating. Well, Lawrence in Maine in the US likes a more calm approach in dealing with his stress. I shut myself in my room, light my aroma candles and meditate on my blessings. Although a Christian, I believe in the Buddhist philosophy that I am in charge of my responses to stress and I choose not to bring violence on anyone or anything. Now what would American Independence Day celebrations be without fireworks, picnics and of course the annual Coney Island hot dog eating competition in New York. This year's winner of the Mustard Belt, the prize for most hot dogs eaten, was 23-year-old Joey Chestnut from California. He devoured a record 66 hot dogs in 12 minutes. Chestnut fulfilled his vow to beat the world record he had set in qualifying earlier this year, 59 and a half sausages, and to bring back the prize to America. For the last six years, the defending champion has been Takeru Kobayashi, a 28-year-old from Japan, who decided to compete despite a jaw injury. Kobayashi still managed to down 63 hot dogs. So some of the graffiti on trains and building walls is amazing. It just happens to be unsociable and illegal. So in order to harness the skills of these artists, spray, spray paint art has been developed using poster board. Have a look at this. Amazing, isn't it? And that's the street art on Street Talk for now. Do keep sending in your questions and comments and pointers to anything interesting or amusing for Street Talk. Remember, what you see here isn't necessarily the view of Al Jazeera, and some of the content's been edited, but for time and space reasons only. And that's the talk on the street. <laughs>